removing a pulley or coupler from a drive shaft. Hey everybody, um, I had a project the other day. I had a a tiller that I had to do a replacement. I just switched the engine out, but at any rate, I had to take the puller or the pulley off of the old engine, and I didn't want to use a hammer or anything with impact, so I just got this this puller set, this three jaw puller set from Harbor Freight. I had it for years, but I just pulled it out of the shed. And I figured if this thing would fit properly, I could use this to pull, take that pulley off of the drive shaft without causing any damage or impact to the to the small engine. So I had one handed camera operation, so I apologize. So basically the hooks here, they go under the pulley or coupler or whatever you're taking off of the drive shaft. And then you're going to turn that the top part clockwise it's going to drive this shaft down into the top of the drive shaft while sim simultaneously pulling the pulley off of the drive shaft you can use a wrench to do this and just turn it or you can use a ratchet so i had the motor turned face down right here you see if you can't reach it um, you can also put the hooks under any type of lip or you know, anything you can grab onto and it should work so once you get it situated you're just going to turn the top of it clockwise and it's going to slowly um, pull the thing off and so so here I set it up set it up right and instead of the wrench I use my ratchet I had more leverage so I continue to do it that way and by the way, I sprayed down into the drive shaft um, with a PB blaster before, kind of to loosen it up, and um, it came off. It was relatively easy, and so that little notch there, you see the little notch in there. Well, you're gonna have to take that piece off the drive. I forget the name of it, but you have to take that off the drive shaft. It's like a little piece of metal that actually goes up there and it keeps the drive shaft from spinning. Um, it keeps the cup, the um, pulley from spinning on the drive shaft. That's why you have that little notch cut out of it. And that little piece of metal inserts into it to keep it from spinning around. So you need both of those and you can put those on the new motor that you're gonna use. Like I said, the pulley set I've had for a long time I've used it a few times on different things. It doesn't work on all applications because sometimes there's not enough room or it just, just doesn't fit right. But at any rate, I recommend this type of uh, puller set if you have to remove a pull, pulley or a coupler from a small engine.